Hello and welcome to The Watches TV for the fourth episode of our saga about calendar functions. Today we focus on the perpetual and secular calendar, which are the most prestigious calendars produced in high-end watchmaking. We already know that every calendar is a system created to structure the succession of days, and the main one used today is the Gregorian calendar implemented by Pope Gregory XIII in 1582. The Gregorian calendar integrates a leap year every four years, a term that describes a year when February lasts 29 days instead of the normal 28. This increases the leap year's count to 366 from the usual 365. Watchmakers worked hard to create a mechanism able to deal with this exception of our calendar. They succeeded in improving the simple calendar system so that it could take into account the leap year. A dedicated hand or indicator on the dial of the perpetual calendar watch displays whether the current year is a leap one or not. The first such display was introduced in clocks before it arrived in pocket watches. The perpetual calendar arrived in wristwatches at the beginning of the 20th century. It is, by the way, the first superior complication to be miniaturized enough to fit into the space of a wristwatch. Due to their complexity, the perpetual calendars belong to the high complication in watchmaking. Because of the indications you have usually on the dial, people like its very complex look. Some brands distinguished themselves by creating a calendar that would take the leap year cycle into account, which includes secular years. These are years that cannot be divided by 400, like 1800, 1900, 2100, 2200. These particular years should theoretically be usual leap years with 29 days in February. But to keep up with the constraints of the system, they are treated like normal years. In 1996, Sven Anderson was the first to introduce such a secular calendar in a wristwatch, as did Frank Muller in 2010 with the Eternitas Mega 4. The movement of these timepieces include one gear making a full revolution in 400 years and yet another in 1000 years. Thanks to them, the wearer won't have to adjust his or her calendar in neither 2100 nor 2200, supposing this particular owner has the very unusual biological skills of still being around them. The perpetual calendar can be seen as the Rolls Royce of high complication because it is designed not to show off inordinately and works also at a very slow tempo compared to other high complications. But as mentioned in the previous report, these mechanisms still remain very sensitive and shouldn't be set between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. As watchmakers love competing, their goal in improving the perpetual calendar has followed two main directions. Legibility is the first one, as normal perpetual calendar dials sometimes seems like a nest of hands. The second one is usability and security in setting and adjusting. The Grubel Forcé perpetual calendar with Equation of Time, presented 2013, includes both these improvements. The date can be read easily across a single line and it can be set at any time and in any direction using only the crown. Perhaps more artistic and creative, the LM Perpetual by MBNF, launched last year, replaces the subdials with white rings to optimize the visibility of the movements underneath. The caliber was also entirely conceived to be easily set thanks to tiny pushers on the case band. It also includes a newly engineered and exclusive mechanical system running the calendar. Finally, the purest and maybe most elegant perpetual calendar is the Slim Dermes perpetual calendar presented last year. Here the settings are secured and simplified even if you still need to use correctors to adjust them. But the dial boasts amazing design and the presence of a moon face indicator lends it a tremendously chic twist. So this was what we wanted to share with you about the perpetual and secular calendars. See you soon. Bye.